Hi everybody, welcome to Mila Makes, the show where you tell me what to make. Yeah, Mila Makes, we're getting all mashed up. This is video two of my holiday edition, and I'm making garlic rosemary mashed potatoes. One of my signature dishes, and I'm going to show you what you're going to need. I want a saucepan, garlic powder, rosemary, oregano leaves, butter, salt, regular garlic, half and half, and of course, potatoes. I'm using red potatoes for this recipe. Okay, so you're going to start by taking your saucepan, putting it on the stove, pretty easy, taking some water, da -da 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 -da. and then it up, okay, and we're going to cover this and wait for it to go to what we call a rolling boil. That's when the water just starts to kind of ripple and flow and you know that it's going to become a full-fledged boil, but not the gross ones that go on your face, because that's just nasty. Some rolling boil action. Now it's time to take your potatoes and pop them in. So once you've added the last of your potatoes, you're going to go ahead and cover it so that it does a little bit, leave a little space. You're going to want to leave it uncovered a little bit just because the potatoes could get angry and then it go like this. And you don't want that, right? Good. This is what happens if you don't cover it. A mini watermont Vesuvius. Okay, so it's been about 20-25 minutes and how do you know if your potatoes are ready to be mashed? Well, take a fork and you just kind of poke at your potato and if it becomes this, you're all ready. Since our potatoes look good, we're going to go on to the next step. We're going to turn this off and we're going to take a strainer and we're going to head over to the sink. And take your saucepan and the strainer and you're just going to take out the water. And I'm just going to leave these here for right now because I found out that my sink is super handy. We're going to take the saucepan and head over back to the stove and we're going to start getting some mash on.